Hello, everyone. Glenn DeMolle here, and welcome to my craft room. We are going to do a fun fold tonight, and I love it. I'm just going to pop over to Facebook just to make sure that it's up and running so I can watch out for comments because, you know, it's Thursday and I'm on my I'm on my um, VIP page and StreamYard doesn't like the privacy restrictions in my VIP page. So I never know whether who's commenting. All right. So it is time for a fun fold. It is Thursday night and it is September the 21st. Come on, people now. Where are you? Ah, there we are. Hello, Carmen. Who is the Facebook user? Yvonne, hello, hello, hello. Okay. So people are popping on. Hi, Janet. Hi, Vic. Hi. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you have had a wonderful day. My day was so productive. I feel so good right now because we're going camping in like six plus nine. 15 days. Oh my God, it's two weeks. Two weeks tomorrow, we go camping for a week for Thanksgiving. And I've got a list this long of stuff that I need to get done before I go. And today, I shortened that list from this long to this long. I had a good day. Hello, Kathy. Yes, I was prepping for our creative, our winter creative escape today. So let me flip you around because you've had enough of looking at me. And oh, Earth and Textures class is open. And guess what I'm using tonight on our card? Uh-huh. Oh, thanks, Carmen. Yeah, it's a big whoosh off my mind. Goodie bags are almost ready. Treat bags are almost ready. Prep two of the cards today. Got the designer paper shares and the ribbon shares and the oh, it's it's going. Well, there's a Facebook user. Kimberly. Well, hello, my friend. Hey, tonight I'm making one of Maxine's cards. So Earth and Textures class is on now and we're using it tonight. This is another one of the swap cards I got in Las Vegas. This one is by Maxine Finch. She is in my accountability group with Kimberly and Debbie Flatham, and she lives in British Columbia too, and it's a fun fold. Look at this. Look at this. Is that not fun? I, you know me. I love a good fun fold. So I thought, well, let's recreate Maxine's card tonight. It is a fun, fun fold. Hey, Connie. Yes. So we're going to make it, but have a look at this card and then tell me. There is two things that are usually on a card that are not on this card. But the card is so gorgeous that in reality, I never even noticed that they were not there until I was getting ready for this class for to do this. Oh, who got their order? Oh, Lena. Oh, good, Lena. Thank you so much for your support. And you're very welcome. Okay, so. Anybody got any idea the two things I'm talking about? And you don't even notice them. Yes, bling is one of them, but there's another one too. Okay, so while you're contemplating on that, I want to show you a couple of um, cards I received, swap cards I received. This one is by, hang on, I wrote it in here, Desiree Spence. Look at that. How fun is that? You could make, this is that stack and shuffle method, you know, where you take four pieces of designer paper, cut them the same, and then shuffle them all around, and you get four cards, and they're all different. Yes, Carmen, you're right. No embellishments and no sentiment, but you don't even miss it. So there, that's a really fun card. You could whip up like 30 of these in, well, 32, because you got to divide it by four in no time at all. And this one is by Lisa Henderson. Oops, it goes this way. Look at that. It uses the sparkling snowflake bundle. So the this is the punch, and that's the stamp set. 
Oh, okay. Got more Facebook users. Hi, Marsha. Yes. Good evening, everyone. And then this one. Now, I was not going to get this bundle. Then I received this swap card from Elizabeth Green. And then I got notification that this bundle is now back in stock. So is that, you don't need anything on the card, you're right. But is that not apropos that maybe I need to get this bundle? Do you want to see the card? Okay, I'm not going to show it to you. You need to comment and let me know if you want to see the card or if it's like, oh, whatever, it's just another bundle. But it's something that's back in stock, which is really exciting because they had a whole whack of stuff come in the past two days. So we'll get started on the card. And as you are commenting, <laughs> you know me, I'm a tease. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And I didn't think I was going to like that bundle. So you might know what it is, what bundle it's using, just by the fact that it only got back in stock today. Okay, so for this card that we're going to make, you need a piece of Pretty Peacock that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And that's your base. Then you need another piece of Pretty Peacock that is eight by five and a half. Now I changed this a bit because I didn't want to use eight. I didn't want to have to um, cut off a half an inch off of this. So I used the eight and a half by five and a half. And then I just did my own um, in dimensions. So hers, trying to get it out. See, hers is like a half an inch shorter than mine. So the, and the, Instructions I'm giving you are the ones for my card, not the one for Maxine's card, because hers is a little bit smaller. Okay, I I am a tease. Yes, hello, Peggy and Kathy. Wow, everybody's coming. Woohoo! Okay, so on this eight and a half by five and a half inch piece, we're going to score it at. I want to get it the right way around. Okay, one and a half two and three quarters, five and a quarter, and six and a half. Okay, so eight and a half by five and a half, scored at one and a half, two and three quarters, five and a quarter, and six and a half. And then you need another piece of, um, so this, I'll I'll fold this along with you in a sec. And then you need a piece that is three and a half by five and a half that's going to fit on the front and do your full front. So when we get things all in together, that's what it's going to look like. Hello, Brenda. Okay, so take your piece and at the one and a half inch score line you do a mountain and then you're going to use your bone folder on it then at the two and three quarter inch score line you do a valley and use your um scoreboard nope your bone folder then at the five and a quarter inch piece you want another valley so you fold that back and use your bone folder. And then at the six and a half inch side or score line, you want a mountain. So you end up with a mountain, a valley, a valley, and a mountain. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Wendy's just watching. That's okay. The so the um Measurements are in the description of the video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, down there is where you can find the measurements. If you're watching this on Facebook, they're up there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button that's right about there. 
And then you'll know every time I go live with a video. And don't forget to hit those emojis. It's it's kind of a, it's not really a W. It's like a flying, it's like a bird, right? Here's his body and those are his wings. That's all I can say. That's what it looks like to me. Got mountain, valley, valley, mountain. And then when you fold it, they meet in the center like that. And it's a little bit offset. That's it. So now I have cut a whole bunch of pieces of designer paper and I've put letters on there so that I would know where they go. I know it's sad, sad. Um, I am not on YouTube now. I am live in my VIP group. Yes, it's a good visual, Peggy, to have it up like that. You're right. I go live on YouTube on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock with my 12 weeks of Christmas. And then come January, um, things might sh change a bit. And, I, and I'm thinking of going live on Mondays in my YouTube channel and just doing Thursdays here in my VIP group first. Then they all go to YouTube eventually anyways. Okay, so I brought out a couple of pieces just in case we wanted to put a sentiment on it. And on the front, and you see in the background there, this is a really cool technique and I haven't done it for a while, so we're gonna do it tonight. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, replays are always uploaded to YouTube. So Monday nights at 8 o'clock, I'm live on my Facebook page and in my VIP group. Tuesday nights, I'm live on my YouTube channel. Thursday nights, I'm live only in my VIP group. I know it's confusing. That's why I'm going to change things a bit in January and streamline it a bit. And then, of course, there's Paper Pumpkin, which used to happen on Tuesdays, but now I'm doing 12 weeks of win of Christmas. So Paper Pumpkin is going to um, show up on Fridays for a couple of months. Okay, here's that card. I should take it out of here. So oh, I don't want to show Elizabeth's address. Hang on. And I haven't taken it out of the package yet because I like to keep them in there. But look at this. Look at this stunning card. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? This is the, what well, I don't even know what it's called. I just call it the Stars Suite. Um, stars at Night. So it's part of the Oh, Holy Night Sweet. And it's right here. So it, it's a hybrid embossing folder in that you can put some of the dies in the embossing folder and it will emboss them and cut them at the same time. Now, um, Elizabeth didn't do that. She just embossed it, which is stunning. And then she used the the um, adhesive back star trinkets, which are all back in stock yes this bundle is in stock as of today and those adhesive back star trinkets are back in stock so if you've been waiting for me to order your adhesive back star trinkets i'm doing it tomorrow so i've got an order going in tomorrow which is friday and i may just be ordering that bundle just saying okay so i'm going to be using crumb cake ink and earthen textures stamp set well if we do some stamping this card has no stamping but i got the stamp set out just in case we wanted to use it and hang on and i will answer that question um the earthen texture dies the exposed brick embossing folder and i brought out the naturals adhesive back sequence because they go so well with this class with this bundle Okay, now, who was that that asked? Marsha, the star, 
I lost the card. This star is made out of that funky um, paper that we had in celebration a couple of years ago. What's it called? It's called More Dazzle. It's the More Dazzle paper, this stuff that's right here. So page 127 in the catalog called More Dazzle. And it's not two different colors. I don't know why it shows like it's two different colors there. It's not. <coughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Anyways, carrying on. Okay. So to do this technique that's on the front here, you take your embossing folder. And on the side that has the push in part, you're welcome. I'm going to add ink right to the embossing folder. And you got to make sure that you've got enough for your piece of paper. And this, this paper is going in here this way. So apparently I need to add a lot more ink. Don't push too hard because then you get it right, you get a lot of it. And sometimes it's not a good thing to have a lot of ink. I'm trying to get it down to the bottom without getting ink all over my mat. No, it does not stain your folders. Nope. Your folders are plastic. The ink is water-based and it just, it washes right off with some hot water, not hot water, any kind of water, just running water. Okay. Then you put it in here and you can't move it around too much once you get it in there. So you got to be really careful. Okay. So ink is on the bottom and then your paper, and then you close your embossing folder. So this is what you have. That's what it looks like. Now, when you're gonna, you run it through just like you normally would. So this is a, I don't wanna put this down because if it moves, I'm in trouble. This is a thick one. So you go with your number one, and then you put it in the machine like that. And then you put number four on top of it. And then you pray. You pray number one that you got it on the right side of the embossing folder and you pray number two that it's going to transfer the ink. My tip is, let me show you my face for a sec. My tip with this is go slow. Don't go and wing it through because the ink doesn't have a chance to go get off of the embossing folder. You want to go nice and slow as you're whip bringing it through your machine. And now that I've stopped it, I'm hoping it didn't make a really weird thing. Uh-oh, who's not feeling well? Oh, Lena, no, get better soon. Okay, I'm still putting it through. That's how long I take to run it through because then it gives the ink a chance to get off of the embossing folder and onto your cardstock. Okay, now will you lift it up? First of all, we pray that it worked. There we go. Come on, get off of here. So there's what you get. Is that not the coolest thing? And I can't believe I haven't used it for a long time. Now you will have to take this and wash it after, and it doesn't matter when you wash it because it's plastic, it's not going to dry. So there's our background. Yay! Okay. I'm going to put that on the piece that it needs to go on because then I know that where it's going because there's a lot of pieces to this card. Who loves that technique? Have you guys done this technique? Marsha loves it, so she must have been, she must do it. You guys do this technique? It's been a while since we did it. It doesn't work with every embossing folder, just warning you. Some are better than others. It all depends on the pattern. There we go. So there's our, there's the front. Put that off to the side. Now, got the base and I got all these pieces. This one is the inside one. Then we have cardstock and paper to die cut all the, the things. 
So we'll do those in a sec. You will? Yes, that was very vanilla, Janet. Ooh, we've got people that have done it. Connie does. Marie has not tried it. Peggy has never tried it. Wendy hasn't, but she's going to. Give it a try. Okay, so that piece goes in there. And then I've got this piece is, let's see, I wrote on their front. So that's going to go on here like that. I'm going to put that over there. And then this one is D. So that's going there. And this one is also D. So that's going there. But we got to make sure that the drops are going in the right direction. And then this one is, can't see, A. Lost my my bottom. So C goes on this side. And then can't read it. I can't read it. That's a okay, so this one must be this side. And it's different because of the way it's going to sit on it doesn't sit in the center of the the back so you have to have bigger on one side than the other side when maxine made hers she did that on one side and then that this happens on the other side but i like them to be even so that's why i did that and i made them big enough so that they're going to tuck underneath this okay so hi debbie oh a stormy Alaskan cruise? That sounds fun. When we went, the sea was dead flat calm. All three times I've been to Alaska, there was not a wave in sight. Okay, I'm going to put these on, but I want to know which, which pattern do you think I should have on here? So this is going to be this pattern. Then we can use that and then there'll be this and then this is the other side of that one oh wait this goes on this side i've got it upside down people there we go that goes on this side cuz this is where this that thing goes on there like that so do you want me to use the blotches or the non-blotches? 15 plus foot waves captain had to put stabilizers down. Oh, I bet there was sick people. Okay, Facebook user says the first pattern. That was Marsha, wants this one. Carmen likes this one. Other Facebook user, Peggy, likes this one. Got to sneeze. Hang on. <laughs> okay, it's done. Okay, I'm getting more more calls for the drops. Okay, so we'll do the drops, but I want to know. You want the drops up? Drops up or drops down? So here's the drop down. There's the drops up. So tell me which one you want. And while you're doing that, I'm going to put this piece on here because then I know where it goes. Get it done. Down, down. Oh, thank you. Those that said bless you. Yeah, it, you know, it happens every time I go live. Oh, it's crooked. Hang on. down everybody wants drops down okay so there's the front that's good to go this one was on that side so along with getting stuff prepped for the winter creative escape i've also prepped for my i'm doing a class in powell river 
on the 29th of October. And my lovely ladies have already told me who's coming. So I prepped all the cards today. I'm so excited because that means I'm almost prepped till the end of October. Because between my sister coming for a visit before we go camping, then we go camping. And then there's a big dog show in town when we get home. And I'm having my my BOGO sale on the 14th. And then the next weekend is the Winter Creative Escape. And I have, people have rented out my trailer because they're coming, they're coming to play at the escape. Let's see, so that goes on that side. So I don't have a lot of time for prep. Everybody wants the drops down. That's good because that's what I did. So I had, I did a lot of paper cutting in the past three days. Okay, so C and C and the big side. I need to figure out which side the big side goes on before I put that down because I want the dark at the bottom. So I'm going to fold that and I'm going to center this. And then I'm going to do that's the big side, that's the little side. Okay. So this is the big side. So what did you guys do this week? Did you, I know some of you have been busy making cards because you've been sharing them with the share at Saturday and they are stunning cards. I can't wait till you guys, you need to go in there and check them all out. They are gorgeous. And every week we, it seems we get more, which is really fun. Okay, there we go. So there's the base, and this is the part that goes on here, like that. And then this part goes on here. Kathy Jean, hello neighbor, how's hubby still trying to cut his finger off? Uh-oh. Oh. Hi, Marie. Kathy Jean, is your hubby have a problem with his fingers? Okay, so there we are. Now. We're going to die cut. Have this is the new oxidized copper paper. So this this pattern is copper on copper, and this pattern is Lost Lagoon and copper. Stunning papers. They're not in stock. They're due back in on October the second. So maybe next week. Okay, get the dies. So I'm going to cut this out of there. I'm going to do this because I might want to cut something else out of there. And then this one is going to be one of these along with that and this. Now, oh, I have to stamp. There is stamping. Oh my gosh. Who's that with a new grandbaby? Oh, Peggy, how wonderful. Oh, congratulations. How exciting. A new grandbaby. He should not use a grinder. <laughs> oh, man. They think they're indestructible sometimes, you know. So I just noticed that she stamped the pots so we're going to stamp the pots i need to get a bigger block that one won't do it yes congratulations peggy that's exciting news okay i need i need 
this is copper clay and this is pecan pie. So I need those two colors. And then she used some Moody Mauve. She mo used Moody Mauve for this. I'm thinking I'm going to do it in the same color. I'm going to do it in the um, copper clay. What do you think? Do you think that should be copper clay or Moody Mauve? Okay. Copper clay on copper clay. Grandbabies are the best. Absolutely the best thing ever. Okay, I'm inking it up. I'm going to stamp it. Copper clay on copper clay. Oh, except she did it the other way. Oh, well, that sucks, ditch water. Oh, well, flip it over. Clean the stamp. Number 12. Oh, Peggy, that's awesome. Use mauve. Somebody said use mauve. Okay, we're going to start this again because it's the little one that goes on here in copper clay, not the big one. That's that done. And then pecan pie. Ooh, who has 12 too? Oh, Kathy has 12 too. We have four. Four amazing, and they're the best grandchildren in the entire world. Not that I'm a bit prejudiced or not, you know. Okay, that's that. That's that. Now. I only had one vote for Mauve. So I'm just telling you that I didn't get out any Mauve. Okay, so they made this so that when you can die cut the pots out, there's no um, border around them. They cut out inside the edge of the stamped image. So you get the full stamped image. Oh, oh I'm running out of post-it note pieces here. Okay, so that's that, and that's that, and then that and that are going to be this along with this one. Brenda has 12 and two great grandsons. Oh, Kathy has nine and one great. You guys are awesome. So many grandbabies. Okay, so I'm going to do this first. Come on, get in there. Make sure it's not off. And I'll do this one. And we'll do this one. And I'll do this one. And I'll run those through. And hope they stay there. So we have we have three grandsons, one granddaughter, and two grand puppies. Okay, there's that one. Take that off. And then here's the pot, the little pot. There's no handles on this either. Hmm, interesting. And this thing, you know, sometimes if you tap it, they pop right out. And I'm gonna cut one of these on there. Then we have the big pot. Are you guys still there? Six grandsons and six granddaughters. Who is that? Kathy, oh, that's awesome. I love grandchildren. Unfortunately, we don't get to see our Northern ones as much as we would like. 
but we're planning a trip up there. Don't, oh, this isn't long enough. Dang. Oh, well, we'll just pretend. Um, don't tell anybody we're planning a trick, trip in December because I'm afraid that there's going to be another natural disaster and we're not going to be able to go up there. So we're planning without really planning. So the past three years, um, Blake's birthday is the 6th of December. And we like to go up there for their birthdays. So the past three years, however, we have had, we have had, let's see, what happened the first year? Oh, floods. There was floods. And it, it actually took the roads out to get up there. So we couldn't go that year. And then the next year, we had snow or was that last year? No, last year we had the snow. What was the year before that? I don't know. There's been three years, forest fires. Couldn't go up one, one time, but I think that was in the middle of the summer. It hasn't been good for getting up there in December lately. Okay, one more of these. COVID. COVID, well, COVID happened. Yeah, COVID happened, and that really took things out. And then we were going to go again, and there was a fire, and then we were going to go again, and there was a flood, and then we were going to go last year, and they ended up with so much snow that the lower mainland of British Columbia closed, and we couldn't get through the all the roads were closed and we couldn't get we could get off the island but we couldn't go anywhere it's not a good thing okay so let's let's take stock of what we have now we have the blue the pe pretty peacock and then we have the copper clay and we have the oxidized copper and we have the pot, and then we have the big one, and we have the little pot, and then we have this to go on there. I think we got it all. Seven granddaughters, five grandsons. Aw, 23. Holy moly, you're just about due for a great. That was Peggy. Okay, so I got all the stuff done. And see, I like this um, copper clay on copper clay. I think that's a little, I like that a little bit more than that. Not that I don't like that. I just like this more. More? Is that a word? It is now. It's in my world. Okay, we're going to take the liner. Because I was smart and put, um, put adhesive sheet on there. So I'm going to put this on here. Maybe you can get it straight. There we are. And we'll trim off the excess. So what do you guys think about this bundle? Do you like the Earthen Textures bundle? This is from the, an the annual catalog, not the, uh, not the mini. Because don't forget, there is always a, a virtual option to any of my classes. <laughs> no, not yet. You're too young for them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I hear you, Peggy. I'm too young, too. Oh, Carmen likes it. Marsha likes it. Kathy, Debbie. Oh, hello. Yes. I love it. Okay, so we got to get some adhesive on the back of these. So let's turn those over, get get my glue out. So registration is open now for this class. If you live in Canada, you have a choice of kits for three cards plus a package of Naturals adhesive back sequins, which is the 
what I got out to use on these cards tonight, the bling. Or if you get the bundle plus the sequins plus three card kits, it's $90. So the card kits and sequins are is $30. The bundle plus the card kits plus the sequins is $90. And then if you if you choose to order the suite, so that's the paper, the paper and the stamp set and the dies. Now, what is else is in that suite? I forgot. Let me check. Oh, the trim, this funky trim, this. What's it called? It is called a natural wavy trim. So you get a roll of that in with a suite. And if you do that, um, for $135, you'll get the suite and you'll get the you'll get the suite kits for three cards and the natural sequins for $135. So you get the you get the, the card kits for free with that option and the the it ships direct to you the bundle ships the suite or the bundle ships direct to you and then i mail the card kits out to you now if you don't live in canada and you want to join me for my class or you want to do it on your own there is a tutorial only option available for fifteen dollars you get video tutorials for all three cards if you are part of my stamping creative co monthly tutorial you get video tutorials for four cards okay okay somebody thinks it's beautiful oh peggy's going to get it in october Marie says, don't have it. Maybe see my neighbor to borrow it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Okay, so this this is, um, this is die cut's a little bit different than our, what we normally have. So if you look at what uh, Maxine did, she cut them. So they are attached with little tabs in between the petals, the fronds, whatever. And she cut them so that they're separate. Now you can do that or you can just fold it because it's got fold lines too. And I like to fold it inwards on all of the fold lines. And I just put my thumb where the fold line is, my thumbnail, so that it folds nicely. And then I go back and I do the opposite kind of fold on those tabs. And it gives it a nice texture now be forewarned when you put it in the mail it probably will flatten but at least i know when i send it out of my craft room it has texture on it and what happens after that well that's up to whoever gets it now you can um put tombow right on those little ridges maybe we'll do that no because i don't want to you can put Tombow on those ridges and then the thing will lay flat. The ridges will glue down. Maybe we'll do, try that. Let's try that. Why not? Okay, so I'm just going to get. <laughs> Kathy Jean says, sure, Marie. I'll borrow it. Okay, I'm just putting a light run of Tombow right on those um, folded areas right there, right in the middle of each frond. I'll show you in a sec. Okay. So what I did, can you see what I did? See where I put the glue right on those folded lines. So when I put it, I'm going to let this um, dry for a bit. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to because then I can use the Tombow. 
as little glue dots. But so we'll do, we'll get the, the frondy things in and the, the big. So i put this one up here, kind of hiding in that direction. And then this one, gonna, oh, nope, that's the one that's got the, the bling. And then we'll just stick this one out this way and down a little bit. And we'll take this one and put it on here. Oh my God, look at that. Don't you love that paper? Have you tried making your dimensionals? Then you can see if you have missed any. I'm marking your dimensional. Oh yeah, I don't, I'm too impatient to mark my dimensionals, but who is that? So I can say who's, know who I'm talking, Marie. So what Marie is talking about is if you take a pencil and just mark on the top of your dimensionals like this. You would take time and do it a little bit more, a little bit more um, delicate than what I'm doing. I'm just scribbling. So you do that. And then when you use your dimensional, you can see because it's got the scratch marks on it. Yeah, I'm too impatient to do that. So I guess my answer is no. <laughs> okay, so this, the pot is going to go on here, right? Got to get those stems in there. There we are. That paper is stunningly gorgeous. I love it. Pull it up just a tad. It's not up high enough. This one needs to go up just a little bit more because it's down a little bit too far. There we are, that's better. It's a good tip though to do if you have um, problems seeing where you're, if you've taken your dimensional top off or not. I don't have I don't have a problem distinguishing between that. I guess I'm lucky I have eyesight that is good for that. I don't know what is going on here. This is not centering and it's driving me up. It's driving me crazy. Like, come on, dude. Center, would you? Okay, let's do it this way then. I'm gonna put it there and then put it down. There we go. It wasn't centered in the pot and I didn't like that. Okay, our our things are dry now, so we can do this. So I'm going to do a dry run with this pot so I know where I want to put this. Okay. Tell you right now that the, the stem is too long. So I'm just gonna cut that stem off. Big pot flat, yes, big pot flat. Alcohol markers work better. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to put that at a little bit of an angle just because. So when I put this down, it's got a dimensional. Did I take the, the lid off of the dimensional? I did. It's got a dimensional there that's going to keep that up. And then because I put glue just on the ribs, there's a bit of lift in those as well. Or you can just put dimensionals underneath them. That works too. And then we're going to put our pot over top. Pop the pot on top. There we are. Look. Isn't that, oops, wait, I've got a piece of paper. Isn't that amazing? Look, just look at that. I love that paper. Have I mentioned that I love that paper? Maybe a time or two. Okay. So now the inside, um, Maxine did not stamp anything on the inside because it is kind of really quite narrow. But I think I'm going to stamp part of that on there. Hmm, maybe not. Let's use this one. Let's use that one. And I need to get a stamping paper out because I'm only going to use part of it. And there's the center. So 
what color should I use in there? I'm going to use, I'm going to use, tell me, copper clay or pecan pie? Hmm. Copper clay or pecan pie? What color should I use? I'm thinking pecan pie. I'm thinking pecan pie. I hope you agree. Because I just, copper clay. Oh, Janet says copper clay. Somebody loves the paper. Yvonne loves the paper. So we have copper, copper, pecan, copper. Okay, fine. I would vote it again. Pecan pie it is. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it like that. There we are. And then my envelope. We'll put some, put a couple of them on there. There we are. There's the envelope. Copper it was. Okay, now we can put it together. Are you ready? First of all, let's put the inside in because if you don't put the inside in first, you can't get it in because of the way it opens. You have to be intentional. So I'm just gonna put it in now and then it's in and then I don't worry, have to worry about it. Make sure my adhesive goes right into the corners. So I have a sweatshirt on that's a Halloween sweatshirt. I should show you what it says. It's real, it's funny. It's black. It's all black. I love black. Black is one of my favorite colors to wear. I always wear black pants because then I can wipe my fingers on it when I get them inky. But look, it says, I'm only here for the candy. <laughs> Halloween's coming. Yay, candy. Okay, and I don't mean candy, my friend, candy. I mean like candy as in Halloween candy. And we don't ever get trick-or-treaters, ever. We've been here 17 years. The only trick-or-treaters we have ever had is our grandchildren. When we first moved into this place, there was no kids living in the neighborhood. We've slowly got some kids in the neighborhood and grandkids in the neighborhood, but we still don't get anybody so i buy candy just because you know you have to just in case something strange happens and we get trick-or-treaters and then hubby and i have to sacrifice ourselves and eat it because you can't let it go bad right okay so i'm centering this i'm paying attention to that you probably can't see it paying attention to that and this and getting it right up to the very top making kind of hoping that it's equal on both sides and right at the top. And then if I cut it right, it's right at the bottom. So there we have, there we have it. And then this goes on the front like this, but only on that side. Don't put adhesive on this side. You'll glue your card shut. That wouldn't be a good thing. All right, so now this is going to go right at the edge and right at the top. How am I gonna do this? Let's do it this way. Okay, I'm lining it, the edge and the top and the bottom up. There we go. Yay, it worked. Oh, you can see a little bit of it there, but that's okay. Because nobody's going to know, right? Nobody's going to know it's not supposed to look like that. Yes. So you just put adhesive on this side. You don't put it anywhere else. And 
it does open flat. You just have to make sure that you tuck that back in there to open it flat. I love this card too. Apparently I need to put a little bit more glue in there because it's not sticking down. Where's my pokey tool? You know this little trick when you want to put glue underneath something that you already have stuck down? If you use your pokey tool, it works really well. I'm just going to put a dot of glue right there. There we are, because I don't want those to get ripped and torn. There we are, that's better. Then don't forget, take the, the rest of the glue off of your pokey tool. Man, I'll tell you, that has got to be the most versatile tool in my entire craft room. And we, we don't sell these anymore. We sell these, and I keep forgetting to reach for it. Okay, now let's finish it off with some of the Naturals Adhesive Back Sequins. So these, you're going to get a package of these when you register for my class. The class is on Wednesday, October the 18th, and you have until the 1st of October to register. So either email me or check out my newsletter for the link on how to register for it. So these come in white and gold and copper and brown. They don't say what color these are anymore. Oh, where's my catalog? Let's, let's have a look. Accessories. Accessories. Where is embellishments? There we are. Okay, let me find them first of all. There they are. Naturals adhesive back sequins. So they're right here. They're on page 141 these ones right here, copper, silver, brown, and gold. So there you go, copper, silver, brown, and gold. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking a couple of browns and a copper. What do you think? A couple of browns and a copper. And do I need to, do I want to put a sentiment on here? That needs to go right there. Oh, maybe I need the other one there. Maybe one of these there. That's better. There and there. And then we'll put one. We'll put one. I like it there. Janet says no sentiment. What do you think? No sentiment. No, nope. nobody wants sentiment. I think you're right because I think it's going to, even if I use like this half inch strip, it's going to cover it up. And the sentiment would have to be really tiny. So I'm agreeing with you. I don't think I want to put a sentiment on there, which is probably why Maxine didn't put one on in the first place. You're right. It does not need one. Well, there we are. There's our card for tonight. So, what do you think about this bundle? Do you think I need to order this? Maybe this needs to be the class in November. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. I'm still on the fence about that one. It's a great fun fold, Marsha. I agree. And thank you, Kathy and Carmen. Hi, Nancy. Yes, watch the replay. It's a really pretty card. Okay. So I'll open it for you once more. There you go. Yay! Don't forget. Registration is open now for my Earth and Textures bundle, which is what this is. Um, it's the the stamp set, the dies, 
and the Earthen Elegance designer paper. So that's what this is. And that's what these are, all of these designer papers. It is the Earth and Elegance designer paper. I can't tell you how happy this makes my heart. You're welcome, Kathy. Thanks, Janet and Marcia. Oh, Kathy, got to get it out. Get it out. Oh, thanks, Nancy. You're using the wow emoji. Yeah, don't forget to hit those emojis and let me know what you think. Like they're right down at the bottom. If you hover at the bottom, it's like, oh. <laughs> and if you're catching the replay, thank you for watching. And I'll just mention again that this card I received in a swap by Maxine Finch. Um, she's part of my accountability buddy group that I roomed with when we went to Las Vegas. Oh my God, we had so much fun. Um, and sh she gave me this one because she makes gorgeous cards and I wanted to remake it. And now I have, and look at that. What I haven't done yet is make a template because I just haven't had time. You know how I like to make the templates and keep them. So I'm calling this one a pop out Z fold card. Okay, well, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me tonight. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all of your support. And you can't share this video because it's in my private group, but you can go over to YouTube and subscribe. So if you're watching this on YouTube, hit, hit that subscribe button that's like right down there, that red one, and it will tell you when I upload videos. Monday nights at 8 o'clock on my Facebook page. Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock, my YouTube channel. Wednesday nights are usually class nights, so they're private. Thursday nights, Facebook Live in my VIP group. And for September, October, November, Paper Pumpkin will be on a Friday night. So tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, Paper Pumpkin on Facebook Live on my page. Is that confusing? Yes, it is. But if you get my newsletter, then it's all there for you. It tells you what happened last week. Then it tells you what's happening this week and on what channel. So subscribe to my newsletter too. And the links for YouTube, my newsletter, and my blog are in the description of this video. So either up there if you're on YouTube or down, no, down there if you're on YouTube and up there if you're watching on Facebook. You're very welcome, Kathy. Yvonne, Debbie, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on my Facebook page for some paper pumpkin stamping. This one is gorgeous. I haven't opened mine, but I've seen some cards. You're going to love it. Thanks, everybody. See you soon in my craft room. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now.